The TPR rudder pedals are great, but they do need some adjustment. Now without the damper mod, you can see that it swings quite a bit. You can adjust the springs behind it uh, to give some more resistance, but it will still bounce back and forth. To prevent this from happening and bring the feel closer to real world rudder pedals, I brought this Cube Sim rudder damper kit off of Amazon. On Amazon, you will actually see it by a different name, Paloma. Someone is selling repackaged product from CubeSim and you can see it in one of the comments. If you scroll down, you will see it clearly called out. Uh, if you go on the CubeSim website, you can find it for much cheaper, about $75. And even after shipping to the US, it comes out to $118. So I didn't know this before and uh, I bought the version off of Amazon. Could have saved a few bucks, but whatever. Comes very nicely packaged with some sturdy parts. Here is the main component, which is the hydraulic damper. And then it comes with all the pieces and the tools that you need to attach the damper to your TPR rudder pedals. Let's uh, disconnect the rudder and uh, get it ready for the damper kit. Now remove the 3M attachment tape sticky tape and push the small piece towards the back of the rudder. It's a bit tricky to get it in but uh, once it fits, it fits very snug. And then expose the 3M adhesive out of the bigger piece and do not do this. It comes with the bolt in the right place and uh, I took it out, did not know and then I had to put it back in. So just leave it as it is and attach it to the outside of the rudder pedals. The 3M adhesive ensures that it stays in place. Now take the four long screws that come with the damper mod and secure the mounting hardware. Now let's look at the base of the TPR. At the base, you will see two small screws here. We need to take these out and replace them with the slightly longer screws that come with the damper kit. Screw them just a little bit for the tip of the screws to be exposed on the top side of the base. Now let's take the mounting hardware that's supposed to go on the base and the piece that will hold the hydraulic damper in place. Take the screws out, align both the pieces and put the screws back in. Time to attach the whole thing to the base. Expose the 3M adhesive, align it with the tip of the two longer screws that we had put in earlier and tighten the whole thing. Then secure it with the two small nuts that are included with the damper mod. Next here is the star of the show, the hydraulic damper itself and you can hear the clicks as I adjust the settings on the damper. Take the damper and attach it to the piece that we just secured to the base of the rudder. The second washer is supposed to go on the inside but the other side of the damper but I just could not get it in because there's, there's very little space there. So for now, I have attached it on the outside. I might, uh, you know, reassemble this later and try to put the washer on the inside. Now rotate the top of the damper and attach it to the bolt on the upper section. I forgot to put a nut on the inside and use the second nut to tighten it from the outside. Now you can see the bounciness is gone from the rudder and it returns to its original position uh, much more smoothly than before and you can use the adjustment knob at the back to change the resistance and match it to whatever you are flying in real life. So there you go, the TPR rudder pedals with uh, damper mod much more closer to real life flying uh, when it comes to the rudder than the other options I have tried so far. 
please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel as always thank you for watching i will see you in the next video